So these power lines that you see behind me here, you got to think about this type of stuff as you're surveying your local area. These power lines also give me a roadway outside of roadways. There's really three alternate sources of travel that we can look to take outside of a city. These being one, these power lines usually go on in both directions for many, many miles. They usually connect towns, but a lot of times they'll run out through sparse, barren areas to connect these areas. Now, the cool thing with them is usually the, they're fairly well maintained by the power company. They obviously have an investment to look at. There's usually a small dirt roadway or some sort of a service area to get to all these lines, and it's usually fairly clear. But the good thing is, and you're hearing it with the noise with the roadway that's just off from here, there's no cars on here. So as the roadways become clogged and those arteries become clogged to get outside of your urban environment, don't forget about things like this. Things like this, I can put a four-wheeler on, a vehicle, a bike, even just my feet and go, and I can get out of the urban environment that I might find myself in because of the fact that these arteries are going to be closed due to just massive amounts of gridlock and traffic. Here I can get out and just have a free walk. Another area that's like this, railroad tracks, gang, they offer you the same conveyance and the means of travel to get outside of your urban environment and get out to more of the rural areas to leave all of the chaos that the city is going to find. Don't forget about them. Keep it in mind.